Hi, and welcome to FedMail, this special holiday Thursday Shavuot edition of FedMail. Hope you're doing well in good health and in good spirits, and I hope you had a great week. A lot going on around the world, beginning with Jerusalem Day last Thursday evening into Friday. Celebrations were held throughout the country, uh, recognizing the reunification of Jerusalem during the 67 War. I talked about that in last week's FedMail, and most importantly, events went off without any um, major violence, which was terrific. There was a lot of concern over that. In particular, there was a major parade through the old city, which sometimes can be a flashpoint for violence, but we're happy to report that things went well and the celebrations continued. Also this morning, uh, the Biden administration held a special summit at the White House to talk about efforts to combat anti-Semitism, and some major players were there, including the person that the administration has directed uh, to work specifically on combating anti-Semitism, Deb Lipstadt, Doug Imhoff was there, Susan Rice. Um, so this is a major event, and it's important to note that anti-Semitism or rising anti-Semitism around the country is being taken seriously by our elected officials, and uh, we're pleased to see that. I also, uh, we are continuing to monitor the case of Evan Gershkovich, the Wall Street Journal reporter who was taken captive by uh, Russia. Um, several months back and he's been held in a Russian prison. Indications are that the uh, Russian authorities have extended his prison stay. Uh, Jewish Federations of North America uh, has been advocating to the State Department lobbying to uh, do all they can to get um, this young Jewish reporter released. So that's a very important one. Locally in our community, flags were planted at all three of our local Jewish cemeteries. Thank you to uh, about the two dozen volunteers who came out to do that. It was great to see that, and um, we think it's important, particularly with Memorial Day coming up this weekend. Also around the world, uh, indications are that Iran continues um, with their nuclear program, and a lot of attention has been paid to that in recent days. Uh, I think there was a major missile test that also took place. And within Israel itself, the judicial reform bill conversation continues, and they're trying to work out some sort of compromise with that, or at least there's hope that there will that a compromise will be found uh, between the different parties that are opposed and supporting of this bill. Um, but all of that's going on around the world. Locally, we've got a lot taking place this coming week. Of course, as I mentioned, uh, we have the holiday of Shavuot coming up. So. First and foremost, make sure that you make it to your local congregation to hear a reading of the Ten Commandments, and it's customary to eat something dairy during the holiday, so I'm sure there will be cheesecake abound, um, lots of great stuff. Beth Israel on uh, June 2nd through the 4th is holding Artist in Residence Weekend. They've been advertising this all over the place. You don't want to miss it the 2nd through the 4th. Sheer Joy has a concert on the 4th. You don't want to miss. And our Shlicha, Tomi. Tomi has been here uh, this whole year, she's leaving and we're having a farewell party on the 7th. So her time in our community is up, but we hope she'll come back to visit. I also want to remind you that that very special uh, competition or contest to win a free trip to Israel continues. You can only sign up for it uh, through June 1st. You've got to get your application in or your, your submission in by June 1st. Don't miss it. Also, don't forget to sign up for our community trip to Israel taking place this fall. We also have Jewish Heritage Day coming up in June. We're looking forward to announcing the uh, honoree for this year's Tapper Charitable Foundation Righteous Gentile Award. The Queen Esther scholarships are still available. You don't want to miss it. And next week, Jewish Federation leaders are going to be getting together to discuss allocations for all of the great programs and organizations and congregations in our community. So if you haven't yet made a donation to the annual campaign, what better time to do it? We'd welcome it. We'd be grateful for it. We'd appreciate it. And so would all those who benefit so importantly from um, your donation and your generosity. So with that, again, I wish you a happy Shavuot. Have a great weekend. Be safe. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.